Every month a new crop of iOS and Android games comes out and GameRanks brings you the best ones. Here are the 10 best free iOS and Android games of March 2016. Number 10, Seven Mages. Seven Mages is a turn-based first-person RPG with some really good graphics. I mean, seriously, I don't care if you have iOS or Android, this game looks phenomenal. It seriously looks like it could be an Xbox 360 game. You get a lot of varied environments. Enemies are all unique looking, and frankly, it is very easy to waste a lot of time with it. In fact, I would even say that there aren't really any negatives about the game, and it's kind of a unique and interesting take on something that's not really done on mobile. Number 9, Basketball Stars. So at first glance, this seems like a super simple basketball game, and it kind of is, but kind of isn't. The controls are actually very simple, and you'll pick up and play it without learning anything. It's really, it's that simple. But what's so interesting about it is that it is a a multiplayer game. The matches are all live multiplayer, and being the controls are intuitive as they are, and you're playing against an actual person, this is perhaps one of the more enjoyable sports games on mobile. Honestly, I would be utterly shocked if this wasn't a huge game over the next few months. Number 8, Tesla Tubes. Now, Tesla Tubes is a pretty simple sounding puzzle game where the goal is to simply connect batteries on a circuit board. You do it in as few moves as you can, and you try to fill up the whole board. It might remind you a little bit of flow free and it delivers on an aesthetic that is fun especially for children that love science but it is a little bit more tough than maybe a child would do it's not outrageously difficult but if your kid is good at this congratulations your kid is probably actually smart it's a fun game that works really well as a time waster number seven dungeon monsters rpg is a card battler but it does have a minor difference in that it's first person and you actually see the battle i personally like this quite a bit because having a visual representation representation that also serves as my perspective in the game, I do enjoy. This is definitely a great step in the evolution of the card battler, and I would recommend that developers at least take a look at this before they make their own. Number six, Road to Be a King is this great gesture-based endless brawler, and sometimes can actually feel a little bit like one of those space shooters, except for it's entirely grounded in a more medieval aesthetic, with some graphics that honestly remind me quite a bit of what they were going for with Wind Waker and it all kind of comes together to this really cohesive and very fun package that I have to recommend. Number five, Doomsday Clicker. Where you may not be a fan of the clicker genre, but if you are, this is probably gonna be the best game that you've played in that genre for a while. It has a pretty cool post-apocalyptic aesthetic. Basically, nukes are dropped and you go underground. You're obviously generating revenue and all the same things that you do in clickers, except there's some actual feeling of progression in this game. It feels like you're building something, which Let's be honest, a lot of clickers don't. It's free to play, and it does ultimately boil down to a clicker, but it's self-aware, and it attempts to go above and beyond that, so I think if you like that genre, you're really going to like Doomsday Clicker. Number four, Total War Battles Kingdom. Now, if games with unskippable tutorials turn you off, this is going to exclude you from Total War Kingdom, but that tutorial is necessary, as even for fans of Total War, it's a little bit different. But I have to say, the combat definitely executed right for mobile. Remember, this isn't Total War on the PC where you have all the same abilities and options for input methods, and I think it ports over pretty well. They do bring in some mobile elements that some people may like and some people may not, but bearing in mind that it is a mobile game that's made for mobile audiences, the fact that they're bringing that Total War aesthetic and the slightly more complex goals, it's really fun, and you can continue coming back to it. Number three, Disney Magic Kingdoms. Okay, so this is a gorgeous representation of the Disney theme park worlds, but there's been a curse by Maleficent that you have to undo. Now you get a lot of the trademarks of the free-to-play games, but you also get an actually okay story, and on top of that, absolutely gorgeous Disney graphics. The only thing that I would say is an actual downfall about the game is that some of the waits are really, really long for things that you're doing. The Clash of Clans, people have kind of found a balance with that. Other than that, it's a great game that's very fun, and young audiences especially will really enjoy it. 
Number two, Train Conductor World European Railway. So Train Conductor World has really cute, gorgeous, low polygon graphics, which is, by the way, a really cool style, and I'm happy that that's one that has managed to establish itself. I don't just like pixel art, I also like low poly art. It kind of feels like a vintage iOS game, if that makes any sense, but the graphics are much better. And to be honest, recent games have figured out to engage better with the player than games from that era. It's just the controls remind me of a game from an earlier era of iOS games. And that's, as I said, a good thing. Number one, RoboSide is a micro RTS. That's what it calls itself. And essentially, that's a really good way to describe it. It's kind of a much simpler touch-based RTS. But I will say this, though the controls are simplistic, there is a crap ton going on in this game. It requires you to keep track quite a bit and make split-second decisions. There's a kind of Clash Royale-like player versus player. And frankly, if you like Clash Royale, but really want something that's maybe a little bit more in-depth, but not too far, Roboside is an incredibly good game for that. Quick bonus game for you is Rope Racers, where a lot of different players use grappling hooks. The graphics are great, and this is beyond fun. Did you play any good free mobile games this month? Did you play any of the ones that we've recommended? Let's have a conversation in the comments about that. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, because we upload brand new videos every single day. As always, we thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.